Hello everyone, I am so happy to see you. According to YouTube Analytics, over 70% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel. If you guys want Pugsley to eat this month, I suggest you do so. Enjoy the video guys, I love you guys forever and always. Hello everyone, today I will be playing Max Regen Nar. So the build's pretty simple, it's very similar to uh, Max HP Nar, but instead of Titanic we build Holebreaker and Spirit Visage. Basically all these items have base health regen. So I'm going to try to build Hard Steel first, of course, for the value, and then I'll probably go War Mogs. So uh, let's do this. Okay, he's running out of mana. Hopefully, he does not have much mana. Okay, he has no mana now, so hopefully he can't throw any more Qs at me. Yeah, that's pretty good. We got our lethal proc, so we are able to get another W proc off. We're so low, though. All he's done is Q me, by the way. This proves how low HP Nar has early. Yeah, I'm probably dead. Jungle is here, so I'll have to try. Right. Uh, nothing I can really do. I'm dead no matter what, so I have to try. Okay, I was back. I can't risk getting ulted. I think uh, Malphite's like probably one of the worst matchups I can do this build into because I have to build damage against Malphite and I'm not doing that at all until my third item. So it's pretty tough. I guess Cole is seven damage, but. Okay, that's a good damage. He doesn't have much mana. I think I just get a plate here. back, just get some damage, make him miss some minions, we definitely take that. Okay, I'm gonna greed, stay with my TP, um, there's a plate, I really want to stay until I get to 2800 or until I can sell my D-Blade and region pot for heart steel. I need to buy it ASAP or I'm gonna get no value on it. Dead. Yeah, not much I can do. I guess I should have backed. <laughs> oh well.
Okay, I got three items. I don't know, man. This game is so hard. They have double egg kills. They're about to get soul. I don't know. We'll see what we can do. believe it I mean we're stacking our hearts still pretty okay considering we bought it what like at the 14 or 15 minute mark we have 700 stacks so not too horrible I can get a better ult than that, and we lost the fight, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I le le legitimately can't get a better ult than that, I think, so. It is what it is. Okay, that's probably game. GG, let's go to damage charts. Alright, we did the most damage, but uh, it wasn't enough because uh, the problem with this build is that you don't really have much damage and uh, my team like didn't really have like much damage either. Like, Chilgath was a tank and then everyone was just like behind, so yeah, it was pretty difficult. I think uh, Cleaver this game would have been good, but of course I was going max regen, so Cleaver would have had to have been a last item. But uh, yeah, mainly the, mainly the regen comes from Warmog's armor, but you do get like plus 30, plus 40 regen whenever you have Heart Steel and Holebreaker, and I'm sure when you get Spirit Visage, it would probably go up to plus 50 or something like that. So it's not horrible. That's like having like four or five potions going at once, so it's pretty good. I would say if uh, you have a like if, if your team comp is good, like and your team needs a, a tank, I think this is a, like an okay build to go. Also, I want Lethal Tempo for attack speed. I usually go Grasp with Heart Steel builds, but I wanted to try Lethal Tempo. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I love you guys forever and always. Bye bye!